Hey guys, this is MJ at His Truly, locating and educating particles at risk in these final hours, moments, nanoseconds prior to the rapture of the church, which we know is more imminent today than it ever has been. How are you guys today? We are so very close to the rapture, guys. There's Tootsie in the background. Um, I just thought I'd bring her outside. Um, and I had something on my heart today that I wanted to share with y'all. Um, you know, I don't know if you know what a trigger is, but you know, the enemy uses triggers in our life. I was a drug rehab nurse for many years and um, I used journaling um, with the patients there or, um, and we talked a whole lot about triggers. And triggers is something the enemy uses in our life. Um, you know, how we have been raised, how we have environmentally um, been triggered as children. And that happens now as adults sometimes. And the enemy has watched us throughout our life. It is hot here in the panhandle, let me tell you. Um, but um, he has watched us throughout our life, so he knows us. He knows what is our weakness, and he knows our strengths. And there is, an, there is a devil, okay? There's no doubt about it. Okay, let's just get that straight already. We know there's a devil. We know there's God. God loves us eternally. And so undying is his love that he died for us on the cross. Okay, so for those of us who know that um, and belong to him, we are his children. For those who aren't, we are his creations. Okay, we're God's creations. At the moment we become born again, Jesus said we must all be born again to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Um, we become God's children. We're all God's creations, but we are not all God's children. Okay, so guys, the rapture is about to happen. So I'm going to have to share the gospel before I share this message that's on my heart. Um, because this video could end and the rapture could happen first. So it's imminent, the rapture is imminent, and then it is imperative that the gospel be shared, okay? Um, I like to get on here and just talk to you guys, but it's always on my heart to share the gospel because if there's one person that is on here that is not saved, that is not born again, um, then you're going to have to go through the seven-year tribulation, or you could walk out your house today, and today could be your last day on this earth, and... Um, for God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever should believe should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not come into this world to condemn this world, but that through him we might all be saved. But not all of us will be saved, because a lot of us will believe the liar's lie, the enemy will believe the liar. Satan came to steal, kill, and destroy, and his biggest lie is that there is no God. And oh, if there was a God, why would this be happening? Why would fill in the blank be happening? Why did this happen to you as a child? Why is this happening in the world right now? Because there is a devil, okay? Um, it is very important, friend, that you get saved, born again right now, if you are not saved, okay? Um, the Gospels, 1 Corinthians 15, one through four, that Jesus Christ died for our sins according to scripture, that he was buried and on the third day rose again according to scripture. That is the simple gospel of our salvation. Um, Jesus said we must be born again to enter into the kingdom of heaven. How do we do that? A is to simply admit, yes, I am a sinner in need of a savior. And the Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So just admit, yes, I am a sinner. Be, believe, and this is key, believe that Jesus Christ died for our sins and God raised him from the dead. And see, call upon his name. The Bible says that all who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved, not might be saved. And this has nothing to do with religion, okay? Nothing to do with religion. It's a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And Jesus is the only way to the Father, not Buddha, Muhammad, Allah, not the prayers of your ancestors, not a reincarnation, not fill in the blank. 
however you think you're getting there. Not good works by any means because uh, we're not saved by good works. We're saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, not of works lest any man should boast, the Bible says. Okay, so I would do that now. I wouldn't wait because that trumpet is about to sound for the rapture of the church and we are about to be raptured. Um, something is within hours. It was in 24 hours, 48 hours. I believe it could happen before this video is over. Jesus said to lift up your heads and look up for your redemption draws nigh. Everything is set in place right now for the rapture to happen. Everything is set in place for us to leave this planet and get out of here. And um, who's ready? I'm ready, okay? We're ready, we're so ready to get out of here. All right, so what I wanted to say today is that the enemy is bringing such temptation and bringing such trauma and hurt to people. And you know, people are suicidal, people are depressed, discouraged. Um, you know, so what I was talking about with the triggers is that things happen to us sometimes. This is why I'm such an advocate of journaling. Things happen to us as children or in marriages or in relationships that the enemy knows these things happen to us. So he, he knows how to push our buttons, so to speak, all right? He knows exactly. He knows our abandonment issues. He knows our rejection issues. He knows all that stuff. So he knows how to set the stage in a relationship to push that button once again, all right? So that's why I call them triggers, buttons. Don't allow your buttons to be pushed, whether through your own prodigal, your husband, your wife, um, your employer, whatever it may be, to get you mad, to make you feel rejected, to make you feel unwanted, to make you feel un alone, unworthy, not a part of. Hey, we're not a part of this world. I don't want to be a part of this world. We are not of this world. Okay? This is not our home. We're, we're about to go home soon and very soon. Okay? We're just pilgrims passing through. Oh, here goes Tootsie barking. Shh, Toots. See, she's about to get vicious here. I don't... Tootsie. Hey. Be nice. All right. So anyway, we're just pilgrims passing through. So I just wanted to say, don't let anybody push your buttons today. Okay. Like these, this dog is pushing my buttons here. You see, um, the enemy knows what gets us going. And just like Tootsie just got going, like these dogs get her going. Okay. These big dogs get her going. She is just such a precious little dog but um the enemy can't touch us he can only make us feel inferior feel unworthy okay we are beloved we are beloved in christ okay god doesn't love us any less right now than he ever did or more all right regardless of our sin when he died on that cross, when Jesus Christ died on that cross, our sins, past, present, and future, were forgiven. Don't let that enemy stand and accuse you of anything because he is the accuser of the brethren, the Bible says. Okay? Don't let him accuse you of any sin. It is canceled. Your debts have been canceled on that cross. And you need to know that deep down in your heart and nobody can come against you and if you allow people to come against you whether it's your prodigal whether it's you know this is something that god showed me that you know i grew up in a home where there was a lot of things that were said to me because it was, it was an alcohol people were abusing alcohol you know um and when you grow up in a family like that um where there's dysfunction you know and whose family isn't dysfunctional so it's to be nice um there's a lot we receive and internalize a lot of blame a lot of shame a lot of guilt 
a lot that we don't deserve, okay? And as we grow up, um, we just become that shame, you know? And it sets the stage for a lifetime of shame, blame, guilt, um, through different relationships and different, you know, scenarios, so to speak. And so what God showed me was that everything that this particular person said to me was a direct reflection of how they felt about themselves. That set me free. I was so set free when God showed me that. That whatever your prodigal is saying to you, that you're not a good mother, you're not, uh, you did this, you did that, you did, is a direct reflection of how they're feeling about themselves right now. Whatever negative thing that's coming out of somebody's mouth right now that is not in love is a direct reflection of how they feel about themselves. That'll set you free because out of the abundance of the mouth, the heart speaks. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, excuse me. So whatever comes out of their mouth is in their heart. If there's bitterness in their heart, it's gonna come out of their mouth. So protect yourself. Put boundaries up around yourself. Don't allow yourself to be a victim of somebody else's bitterness and somebody else's pain. Hurt people hurt people, okay? Jesus is coming back soon and very soon, guys. We need to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might, okay? Put on the full armor of God. It could be today that he's coming back. Okay, let us be rejoicing. Let us be looking up our heads, lifting up our heads, and looking up for our redemption draws an eye. And I know that we have a lot of fiery darts coming against us, myself included. And there's a lot that has come against <clears throat> Christians in these last days. But I want to end with, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And Jesus is knocking at our heart's door always wanting to have intimate fellowship with us. I heard a faint knocking today at my heart's door and I was ashamed to answer for I knew it was the Lord. There he stood looking humble and sad, his eyes full of compassion, like a concerned thoughtful dad. Don't you know, he said, I know everything and there's nothing hidden child that I haven't seen. I've watched you destroying yourself and my spirit has grieved and my intention in visiting today is to set your soul free. Behold, my child, I stand at the door and knock, and only from your side can that door be unlocked. I have many treasures awaiting you, but remember my path is narrow and my followers few. I won't force the issue and I'll never intrude. I respect your will and I wouldn't dare be rude. And there's one more thing before I go. You must believe that I love you so, that alone will be sufficient to meet all of your needs but the requirement is that you truly believe my love and truth will set your soul free even when your will doesn't want to agree reach out and touch me call on my name if you're a true believer you'll know that's why I came I came to set the captives free and beloved this is your name written down in front of me our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And we are soon and very soon going to see the Lord. How you doing? Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up because it's about to get fierce. Yes. Doggies over here, doggies over there, Tootsie there. Love you guys. Until next time, keep looking out for redemption draws. God bless you guys.